We'll talk about these in a minute. Welcome to Connect. All right. AI, glasses, and virtual reality. Our goal is to build great looking glasses that deliver personal super intelligence and a feeling of presence using realistic holograms. And these ideas combined are what we call the metaverse. Now, glasses are the ideal form factor for personal superintelligence because they let you stay present in the, in the moment while getting access to all of these AI capabilities that make you smarter, help you communicate better, improve your memory, improve your senses, and more. Glasses are the only form factor uh, where you can let an AI see what you see, hear what you hear, uh, talk to you throughout the day, and very soon, uh, generate whatever UI you need right in your vision in real time. So it is no surprise uh, that AI glasses are taking off. This is now our third year shipping AI glasses with our great partner, Essilor Luxottica. And the sales trajectory that we've seen is similar to some of the most popular consumer electronics of all time. Now, we are focused on designing glasses with a few clear values. Number one, they need to be great glasses first. Now, before we get to any of the technology, the glasses need to be well-designed and comfortable. And if you're going to wear glasses on your face all day, every day, then they need to be refined in their aesthetics, and they need to be light. So in addition to working with iconic brands, we have spent years of engineering obsessing over how to shave every fraction of a millimeter and portion of a gram that we can from every pair of glasses that we ship, and I think that that shows in the work. Number two, the technology needs to get out of the way. The promise of glasses is to preserve this sense of presence that you have when you're with other people. Now, this feeling of presence, it's a profound thing. And I think that we've lost it a little bit with phones. And we have the opportunity to get it back with glasses. So when we're designing the hardware and software, we focus on giving you access to very powerful tools when you want them, and then just having them fade into the background otherwise. Number three, take super intelligence seriously. This is going to be the most important technology in our lifetimes. AI should serve people, not just be something that sits in a data center automating large parts of society. So we design our glasses to be able to empower people with new capabilities as soon as they become possible. You know, we think in advance about what kind of sensors are going to be necessary, and we make it so that you can just update your software and make your glasses and yourself smarter and direct AI towards what matters most in your life. All right. So with all that said, uh, we do have some new glasses to show you today. And I want to start with these, the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Now, these are the original and iconic design. I think that this is actually the most popular glasses design in history. And now, with double the battery life, I wear them all day. They never run out of battery. It's got 3K video recording, double our previous resolution for sharper, smoother, and more vivid videos. These are all shot with Ray-Ban Meta. And Meta AI keeps on getting better. So last year, I did this live demo um, translating live between two people. We were doing that on stage. Now, today, I am excited to introduce a feature that we call Conversation Focus. It's a new feature coming soon that is going to be able to amplify your friends' voices in your ear. So if you're in a noisy restaurant, uh, you're basically going to be able to turn up the volume on your friends or whoever you're talking to. 
And and conversation focus, um, it's not only going to be on the new Ray-Ban metas, it's going to be available as a software update on all of the existing Ray-Ban metas too. Now, to show this, uh, we've got Johnny Cirillo and Jack Coyne in the streets of New York. Uh, so check out how this works. All right. It's conversation focus. All right, we are also improving live AI. Uh, as we optimize battery and energy efficiency, meta AI is going to transition from being something that you invoke when you have a question to a service that is running all the time and helping you out throughout the day. Now, to be clear, we're not there yet on all-day live AI use. This is one of the major technology challenges that we're still working through. Uh, but today, you can use live AI for about an hour or two straight. Uh, so to get a feeling for what this is like, uh, let's cut to Chef Jack Mancuso, who's coming to us live. It's uh, the irony of the whole thing is that you spend years making technology, and then the Wi-Fi at the uh, day kind of catches you. All right. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll go check out what he made later. OK. Um, now, when you're building glasses, there is an important intersection between technology and fashion and style. And the technology keeps getting more useful. But you know, as I said before, first and foremost, these need to be great looking glasses that people love to wear. So we are releasing. Uh, the Ray-Ban Metas in more colorways to match your style. Here's a bunch of the new ones. And you know, last year at Connect, uh, we also released a limited edition clear frames. And they were pretty popular. They sold out in a few days. So we've got a new limited edition uh, transparent matte frames with two colors. So get them quickly, because they're probably going to be sold out in a few days, too. Um, all right. Now, it, it's been pretty fun to see how designers have taken Ray-Ban Meta in a lot of different directions. You know, some of, um, some of you probably are familiar with the fashion label Luar, run by Raul Lopez. And um, you know, he's, he's a bold designer who's bringing together sportswear and high fashion. He recently debuted a look. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.